I don't have a sister. Give it to Aisha. Huh? I don't Give have it to Aisha. Give it to Aisha. Your mom says my auntie. Your mom says my auntie. I, I know your mom. I know where she is. Yeah, I'll give it to you. It's your mom. She's your mom. You both could be sure. Allah is the biggest deceiver. Your mom is the biggest deceiver. Allah is the biggest deceiver. Allah is the biggest deceiver. Allah is the biggest deceiver. Your mom is my auntie. موسيقى <تصفيق> 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 <تصفيق>
Yes, and he yeah, I remember. Yes. When we you know used what, to when you, say, you know when you lose an argument, yes, after right. you want to get angry. Yes, right. Yes, right. They have priests on show. They have priests on show. That's right. And we do not want this in England. Come on, get these people out of here, man. Immigration be upon you. Be upon your prophet. Immigration be upon your prophet. I agree with Mali. He I remember. Bob Mali. When we used to say. Bob Mali. Bob Mali. You are gonna have to tell them to calm down so we can have it. He said, "Gamal, Gamal, he said, 'La shambo, la sabaha, la ishe.'" هذا هذا يقول وذيس جاي نو شامبو ناتي نو شاور ناتي حاجة حاجة قمر قمر بيك قمر قمر اه يو نو ايه how did your parents plan 9/11 no I'm not how did your parents plan 9/11 well 9/11 is what we're talking about ah what would they believe I believe in Jesus Christ the one true God and the Father and the Holy Spirit just me Abba Wali Ibn Wal Rukul Kudus Ya Allah Amen 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 yes because the, aside of aside of um um theological books and claims, all truth comes from one God, and all truth is God's truth. So I look at my book, and the Bible makes a claim, and I look at the truth of reality, and the Bible puts everything into our land with the, um with the Bible. Well, say it again. Why do you think the Bible? Yes. You're an example. You okay? The brother, the brother, the brother asked me for an example of how. Hey guys, if you guys can can bring your volume level down to two, can you shut your music off? Jake. I love Bob Marley. All right, cool. Jake. Love Bob Marley that side. God, you can't, you can't respect, respect your brother and love Bob Marley that side. <laughs> respect your if you don't respect me, respect okay. your brother. But he wants to talk, you know. So the brother asked me, why do I believe that uh, Christianity is the truth, or what example can I show? Alright, cool. You asked me why um what are the truth within the Bible? Be on your prophet! And you tell them to be quiet so we can talk. Satan Allah, Satan Allah, Satan Allah, Satan Allah. Quran says, Quran says, Satan Allah. You know they're they're doing all of that. Quran says, Satan Allah. Ask for their support. Satan Allah. Be careful. Have common courtesy and ask for their support. Why do you not want? Hey, intellectual people have a conversation. Only stupid people run away. Intellectual people. Okay, you don't even know me. You don't even know me. You don't even know me. How do you know me? You're fat. You're fat. You're fat. And that's a fact. You're fat. And that's a fact. You're fat. You're fat. I'll beat you up right here, right now. Stand your gun. I'll beat you up right here, right now. Stand your gun. Your teeth are yellow. Your teeth are yellow. Your breast stinks. I can smell it from here. Halas, Let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. You ask me for basic truths that are in reality that are um that I can uh, attest to the Bible. Well, I can tell you, Genesis tells you the origin of man. Why man? Ha oh, why? Why? Um, who is the creator? Genesis tells you. Genesis 1 to 11 tells you that. Why, why male and female? Genesis 1 to 11. Why do we have a seven days week? Genesis 1 to 11 tells you that. Well, let me finish. Why do we, why do we work? Genesis 1 to 11. Why do we fall from grace? Genesis 1 to 11. Uh, um, ge why, why do we need to worship God? Genesis 1 to 11. Why reconciliation back to God? Genesis 1 to 11. So there are two and I are two for a two. I don't see that to be true. It can be true for a time, or it can be true for human nature, but for a better, uh, for a better um, um, moral high ground, those things are not true. So I look at the reality of the, uh, of the truth, and I look at the claim of what the Bible makes, and I testify them. So do you think anything from the Bible? Yes. Have you personally checked the reliability of the Bible? Yes. So that, so that what it says, you can take it to account? Yes. yes. So how was the Bible originated? How was um, it? Written by 40 different authors for a space of 1,000 years, 1,500 years or 2,000 years, um, all claiming the same thing, all making the same claim that there is a Messiah to come, which is God in flesh. And these prophets mo have never met. Moses never met Jesus. Um, 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 Isaiah never met Jesus. None of them never met the Messiah. But yet all of them are testified 
by, by prophecy of the Messiah coming. This is divine tuning. Amen. Amen. And you believe, what, what do you believe the identity of Jesus is? Jesus Christ, the identity that I claim for himself. Do you understand the identity that I claim for himself? Like Jesus said himself, from his, his own personal eyewitnesses, his own personal disciples, his own Sahaba. They said Jesus testified to, to himself being the one true God in the same nature as the Father, in words of the Holy Spirit. So I'll tell you, well, I don't understand. I would, I would flip those same questions back to you. Just so, you, just so I just want to go your. your the invisible God. Is that the invisible God. Yeah, Colossians. Yeah. Colossians. Yeah. Okay. So, I don't understand this. From verse fourteen onwards. He said Jesus. Oh, the image, the image of the invisible God. That's what I'm saying. God's attributes to a mere man. So you have a great question. Yeah. So for example. When you look at the definition of God, for example, mm -hmm. some of the definitions that come of it is God being almighty, the yeah. most powerful, Are you ever doesn't die, mm -hmm. doesn't, yeah. isn't born, everlasting. You know what I'm if you're so, going to talk about God being all knowing, we have to tackle one question at a time. Yeah. You asked me why did I actually, but how can I? No. Okay. Which, what do you want to question? You ask a question first. Fair enough. So, okay, you're when, you say, when, you, when you say God is everlasting, he yeah. right? wasn't born and he doesn't die. And then you well, look at Jesus. Yeah, no. No, I didn't say it wasn't born that. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm So you, you would agree with they, this? They don't um, what do you mean by birth? And what do you mean by death? He believed Jesus. That's, that's why they say he believed God to be born. Yes. The God can die. The yes. Because God can do anything. If you say, if you believe that God can't do that, you're limiting God. No, no. It's not whether I believe or not. No, no, no. You just ask me if I believe, then I have to turn it back on you. If you believe God can be born and God, God can die? No, no. If you don't believe that, then your God is limited. No, no. Then your God is limited. If God can't do something. The question that is being presented. Is a flawed soul. It's like saying. How is it? How is it? You ask me. Well, let me explain. It's like saying <laughs> it's, it's illogical. It's a logical impossibility. So, for example, I could tell you. Listen. Take a left turn. You could take a left turn. Yeah. I could say if you take a right turn, you could take a right turn. If I said to you, okay. Now take a left, right turn. Is that possible? That's not a possibility. Left, right. Left, right. Take a yeah. Left, right turn at the same time. If someone tells you take a left, right turn, it means go. Well, take a left, then turn to the right. Take a left, right turn. There is a way where it can be possible. I understand where you're thinking, finding you it think? illogical, but there is a way where it can be. Let me, let me, let me use the same exact analogy. Wait, let, let me. Let, okay. Can you take a left, right turn at the same time. What well, if I said to you? Let me give a better example. If I said to you, how many days are there in the week? Yes or no? Mm, that's not a logical question. But the question. Is but then the your question. Right? But then that's the that's the thing. You're thinking okay. that your question, the question that you're asking me, is illogical. That's why I had to ask you principles of what do you mean by birth and what do you mean by death. Because those are relational to set beings. Like uh, the earth became um became um to be in at some point. That's the birth of the earth. But we don't have the same life value as the earth. So the earth came to be in 13 billion years ago, as science will claim, or we religious claim or we claim like six thousand years ago. Yeah. But yet, um the, the earth's life is a different value from our life. So what do you mean by birth and what do you mean by death okay. in God's eyes? Okay. <laughs> Not in God's eyes. I didn't just say. Okay, in your birth. eyes, what do you mean by birth and death? Human birth. What is that? So, what's the best way for you to explain? <laughs> Someone who comes out of his mouth. Someone who comes out of his mouth. Thank you very much. Sexual intercourse and coming into birth. Well, um, you would have a you would have a um, um, problem with your theology because you're one of your great greatest prophets. Prophet was not um, was born without sexual intercourse. So then, now my question is, what do you mean by birth and death? What do you mean by birth? No, no, no. I'm, you are. I'm, when we're talking about God, yes, but we're talking about something that is human related. About birth, you said man. You know, a man that is born from a woman who has free sexual intercourse. What do you mean by birth? Because then, if you say that birth has to be um, has to correlate with. Um, um, sexual intercourse, then your theology will be wrong because Isa doesn't have. No. Like the basic definition of yeah. But the, okay, what's the what is what is what, what happened to Mary when Jesus was born? You said the definition of birth is sexual intercourse between a man and a woman. Okay. No, no, no. What happened to Mary in the Quran? When she, of course, I have to use your own uh, analogy because I have to, uh, I have to think about, I have to put myself in your brain, and you're a Muslim, and your your whole theology is what runs your life, you know. So your your theology tells you there is a possibility of birth without sexual intercourse. So what do you mean by birth? No, I got.
against my death penalty. I want to know what. Well, sexual intercourse. So, are you? Do you believe? Do you believe that sexual um, birth can uh, um, only occur during sexual intercourse? No, no. I ask you first. You haven't. Uh, you haven't answered my question. Of birth. I just want to understand. You say Jesus. Alaikum. Alaikum salam. Muslim. Muslim. You say what? Jesus was born. Yeah. Thank you very much. I can I can I can elaborate that for you. Birth is not necessarily um, um, the need to pass through sexual intercourse. Are understandable in human nature. That's how it occurs. Man and woman sleep, um, um, love each other so much. They have relations. Then a child comes. But in God's eyes, birth is not the same. Because when God gave um, gave life to Adam, being the source of life, you automatically a father. You have automatically somewhat metaphorically given birth. So my question now to you is, what do you mean by birth? How, how do you relate this to Jesus? How do I relate this to Jesus? By, uh, let's say, okay, with well, um, God being able to um, create kun fire kun, automatically he's become a father because he's able to produce something. He's able to produce an offspring. Might not be of the same nature, but you know, like, like a human being would, would make a robot and be like, I'm the father of this robot. They're not necessarily the same nature. But yeah, God, God being able to, sorry, you're in front of the camera, smoke. Okay, no, you're in front of the, the camera, smoke. You know, I think, I think. So no, no, we have to. No, no, we're not. Di we're, we haven't diverted. No, we are, we're going through definitions. It's not there. But no, we're going through definitions just so we can understand basics. Because you, know, you got no, no, no. You asked me what do I mean by birth. Sorry, sorry, you're in front of the cameras. You know what my original question is? You're blocking my sunlight. I like I like a little bit of you know my melanation. I like a little bit of sunlight. You're blocking my sunlight. Why are you supporting no, your sun your, your your teeth were shining so bright, they're they they're, they're making me darker. I, I prefer the, the sunlight. I prefer sunlight. Your teeth are so yellow, please, please. But your yeah. hair is big. So I wanna, Thank you very much. Jesus I wanna, loves you. I want to get back to the original point. My point was this. If you say you believe in the definition of God, for example. What is the definition of God? What, what is the definition God, of God? God having no beginning. We agree with God having no beginning and no yeah. end. Yeah. I believe this is part of the attribute of God. Yes. Okay. Then, how could you say to me that Jesus is God when Jesus was both when, born when did, both died? When did Jesus begin? Not born. I didn't ask you when Jesus was born. I asked you when did Jesus begin? You asked me the definition of God is someone who begins and ends. Okay. When did what's, Jesus begin? Was Jesus born? Matthew 1, I mean John 1, 1, it says in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. There was nothing in this word that was created without the word. All things are created by the word and for the word. And then the word became flesh. So the part where it became flesh is born. But beginning, the word did not begin. So what do you mean by born and beginning? When I say born, I mean, when I look, when so, I listen to Christians, yeah. that, what they'll say to me is, <laughs> Jesus was born of the miraculous birth of the mother Mary. Yes, but who said Jesus began at the birth? Did I not just tell you John 1 1 in the beginning was the word? That means before any existence, the word of God was there. So you're telling me the word then John 1 14 tells you the word became flesh. So the part where the word became flesh was the birth. But the word existed eternally with the Father. So what do you mean by beginning? So when, you, when you're born, when you, when you enter existence... That's not a beginning. That is existence. not a beginning. So you're telling that is not a beginning. Coming into existence is not the start. Yeah, coming, the co coming into existence is the start. But in, according to God, that's not the beginning. God does not have a beginning. I just told you the word was there with the Father. Okay, that's, that's fine. But I'm saying, you believe Jesus was a human being too? Um, truly God, truly man. Yes, amen. Okay. So you say Jesus was human, the human side of Jesus. Yes. That you want to say right? but, thank you. Thank you for separating the both. The human oh, side I'm of Jesus. Separate, so, you're not so the human side of Jesus, he was born. Yes. Of the of, of um of Mary. Okay. <clears throat> now when you say so so we are saying to this essentially, whether it's the human side or you want to say the God side, Jesus as one was born. Yes. Began. Yes. For every man to enter this, for every man to be in existence in this world, he has to go through a woman. The, the woman is the gateway to life. So yes, if God is going to enter the world and make a relationship to the world and make a declaration, he's going to go through the gate because he created a gate. Did he not? He's going to go through a gate. So you say to me, Jesus came into existence. Yes. Right. It's the beginning of his existence. Beginning of his existence. No, I didn't. No, no, no. 
Okay, the beginning of ex existence. Well, no, Jesus didn't existence. come into existence. Jesus is existence. You have to correct yourself. Jesus, Jesus is, is existence because God is existence. God is the I am, the all the so existence one. That's why I told you, I gave you John 1 1. I'm going to keep throwing John 1 1 to you until you understand it. No, no, John 1 1 says, in the beginning was the. Let me finish, let me finish. Are you, in, the, in the beginning was the word. The word was there before, you know, before eternal past. What but you're, you're asking you? questions, you're not allowing allow me to answer, you know. You know problem, so you, you're, you're, you're correlating beginning and uh, beginning and um, and a birth. God does not have a beginning, but he has a birth because he came to um, to man and to correlate. Beginning. That's not a beginning. Who told you that? Who told you that? He ate, he came out of the He told you, he you know, Allah, uh, you see, this is, the, this is the thing here. Allah uses this argument that even if Allah was to stand here, I would argue him for, I would debate him and I would still beat him. Allah. Why does he say Allah says, um, um, because he eats, so he can't be God? God can eat, God can do Allah anything. If you, yes, he did. The Quran Allah says it. That. Please, please read your sources. Don't say Allah didn't say that because you're, you're taking words out of Allah's mouth. God Allah said, Allah's yeah. argument, yes, that's Allah's argument. I'm telling you. That's Allah's argument. I've so read the Quran more than you. Uh, God, let me God, land. God. Let me talk one to one person at a time because you guys are going to like now jump. One person at a time. Okay. You know, but don't use Allah's arguments because it's going to destroy you so okay, bad. You, you know, 100%. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Just saying something. Um, so yeah, beginning, does, um, yeah, beginning, God does not have a beginning. Beginning is not the same as birth. The world began, uh, the world began, um, was there before me. I was born, um, approximately 25 to so years ago you know does not mean that that those two are correlated yes. beginning beginning was already there before me i was then born okay. you know so beginning and, co uh, and birth does not correlate god does not have a beginning but he has a birth in the um man of jesus christ okay. see, see your, your arguments assuming that i already believe that jesus no no i'm telling you you're asking my, my view you're asking a christian view i'm telling you you're giving, i'm not i'm not giving you an assumption i'm giving you a christian view okay, okay, good. Telling me your faith right now. I want you to show me logical proof to logically explain to me. As imagine I'm someone who, you know, wants to understand about Christianity. Right? Yes. Okay, I will. Do. I want you to explain that logically to me. Logically. How a human being could be a god? Can something eternal be come come into this creation? Can something eternal come into this creation? Like like make itself present in this creation whilst being eternal there at the same time no okay the quran is it eternal no. the quran is not eternal are you sunni or shia sunni. i would have to hold your actually, tradition actually, actually, hold on, hold on. You're, you're, you don't know I'm if muslim. you're sunni or shia I'm muslim. you're sunni you just confessed it no, no, i will not have to use your whole theology as well <laughs> you you're sunni so no 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 you're sunni yeah, you, you just confessed you're, you're sunni so you're forcing my identity you said you're sunni I'm I don't want to fall for your I'm deception. Your truth, your truth comes from your first, uh, um, original I'm slip up, I'm and I'm going to take that as a, a, on board. Okay, as a Muslim, as a Muslim, as a Muslim, yeah. The Quran is it eternal? No. Oh, explain that to me. Why is it not eternal? It's the word of God. The, the word of God is it eternal? What's the definition? What's the word of God created? Yeah. What's the word of God created? Yeah. So, are you t in other words, are you telling me is the speech of Allah created, interlinked? No, is it created? Is it is it or is it eternally I'm living? Sure I have to think about that. Why why do you not know your theology and you want to question mine? I'm learning. Is that wrong? Uh, well, um, okay, cool. I'm tell. Okay, I'm a sheikh, okay. and I'm gonna have to teach you. Your Quran is eternal because by the words of Allah, is eternal. Allah's words exist outside of creation. When it says kun fire kun. The words are already are an expression of the creation that the creation comes. What does come for you? Be and it is. Okay. So see, I know your theology more than you do. That's why I have to teach you. <laughs> so when Allah creates, yeah, yeah, you, you know, you said that Allah and, and Muhammad himself. Okay. So and the and the hadiths. Okay. Thank you very much. So you um. What's your source? You haven't, you haven't shown me. Quran, Allah, Muhammad, the hadith. Okay. Those are my sources. Okay, I'm a chef. You know, I have to teach you. Show me. Okay, cool. Can you so who's going to Google's going to teach you now? Are you, uh, uh? So you're going to learn from Google and then you're going to teach me? Just because I'm pulling out my phone or any source. Well, you think I can, I can, you think I can take out the sources from my mouth and just give it to you like that? Yeah, I put you in my t-shirt. Uh, then, I, okay, <laughs> if, you, if you want my word of mouth, then Allah, 
Muhammad. What? The, what's the uh, Sunni sources. What's the sources? You know the sources are, are not, the, the, the power link is not going to come out from my mouth. I have to take my phone out. Why I take out my phone and then he tells me that I, uh, like I'm looking at Google. Come on, man. Your, your, well, I try, I'm not trying to smell your breath, man. Your breath stinks. Giving, your breath stinks. Your breath is kicking, fam. Your yellow teeth because he's been insulting me. I'm not insulting you. Yeah, yeah, maybe you should stop. Pray for Allah to show you. Allah for, yeah, I don't drink coffee because it's addictive. Keep sober minded. Keep sober minded. Stop drinking coffee, bro. Halas, halas. I don't want to talk to you. Your breath stinks. Anyways, yeah, your breath, your breath. Oh my God, the H, the H are heavy. The Heidi, Heidi, Heidi are are they aggressive? Your your breath is punching me right now. Alas, bro, alas. Let's have a decent conversation, bro. Alright, cool. Thank you. Jesus loves you. I love you too, bro. Even though you're fat, maybe you should lose a couple fat. Yes, you are fat, bro. What you call you? What your big bone? Your big bone. Your fat. Something you can't do. fat. How can you give fat? How much do you Okay, I don't. How much guys? I don't want to go off insult. How much I'll, I'll rubber, I'll rubber, like have a conversation. No, no. How much no. Bro? I don't, I, I don't, I, I haven't been insulted. But he's insulting me. He's insulting me. Maybe you should tell him. But yeah, I understand. I'll rubber, have this conversation, bro. No, no. I'll rubber, have this conversation, man. Let's have this conversation, man. I don't like being. Alright. For sure. I appreciate that. I'm not gonna force you. I appreciate that. But do you want to come and have this conversation then? I don't know, you're just being all insultive, so I have to say... No, it. you insulted me first. No, I didn't. You insulted no, didn't. me first. No, I didn't. I didn't. I think I had to, I had to yeah, then I step and call you fat. You insulted me first. Let him have this conversation. He's a, he's a smart man. He's an intellectual man. Be a brave man and defend your God. Be a brave man and defend your God. Come here. Come here. See? They have no arguments. They have zero arguments and they run away. They, I, 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 I only reflect people's energy and what they portray back to them guys i apologize i pray to the lord jesus christ to humble my heart humble my soul even before coming i was praying please lord humble my soul so that i don't come off aggressive and insulting but these people i only reflect themselves back to them that's why i throw insults back to show them their own fruit labor but lord guys on the camera please don't, don't hold me to this i apologize if i come off very aggressive but we just had a conversation the brother couldn't even define 